Just the boys at this stage. If we can uh, make room around you, have a look if there's enough space. There's uh, about 20 people needing to come in. They're all standing at the back. Please. There's some room. The bride has a right of commencing her day. And so they are outside. They're already here. So please be patient.
ask you all to please stand. Let us worship God.
together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Donnell and Selitute, to surround them with our prayers and to share in their joy. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. Our new and family will lead us for him, to the Lord.
Let us hear the declaration of purpose for marriage. Marriage is appointed by God. The church believes that marriage is a gift of God in creation and a means of grace in which man and woman become one in heart, mind, and body. Marriage is sacred and a lifelong union. For men and the women who give themselves to each other in love and trust. It signifies the mystery of the union between Christ and the church. Marriage is given that the husband and wife may enrich and encourage each other in every part of their life together. Marriage is given that with delight and tenderness they may know each other in love and through their physical union may strengthen the union of their lives. Marriage is given their children may be born and brought up in security and love. Their home and family life may be strengthened and their society may stand upon firm foundations. Marriage is a way of life which all people should honor. It is not to be entered into lightly or selfishly, but responsibly and in the love of God. Selitute and Donnell are now to begin this way of life which God has created and Christ has blessed. Therefore, on this their wedding day, we pray for them, asking that they may fulfill God's purpose for the whole of their lives. Let us hear words of Scripture. The theme of marriage is always love. If I speak the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have a gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not boast. Love is not proud. It does not dishonor others. Love is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. The now salutute. Love never fails. Let us pray. Holy God, we believe for these two young people, this day was ordained by you from the beginning of time. They are coming together, their friendship, their courtship, and now their marriage. We believe in faith and trust that your plans, your ways are mysterious. Yet there is a, a familiar pattern. For those of us who have experienced marriage can vouch that you have been there along the path of our planning, of our dreams, of our life. So we gather as families, as friends and village, community and the church we gather to bear witness. We gather to applaud and celebrate with this couple their day. For we know marriage is a great challenge. It is probably the greatest challenge to an individual. 
where you go from being a single person, caring only, working only with your family as man or woman with no responsibility of a tie to another. But in marriage, you are challenged to think deeply of God's word. Two will become one. You are not your own anymore. You work with the other to make marriage work. And it is a challenge. This is where love helps to nurture and foster and grow. We pray, Lord God. They said it to the Donnell, who are truly in love, who will experience the wonderful act of fortune in, in, in love, in preparing for marriage. And now, taking that step. We pray for them, Lord God. He say it every day. The word in scripture says, no one, no one will come between them. And that this union will never be undone, only through death. Now, this is our hope, this is our dream, this is our prayers. This young couple will grow and grow and grow in love. They will find difficult days ahead. We can vouch for that. But they will also find wonderful days. Especially days when they have nothing. No money, no food, but they have peace and love. And they will know your goodness, your love, your mercy. Your blessings are new every morning. So we commit them to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Declaration of intent. Donnell and Salitute, do you believe that God has blessed and guided you and now calls you into marriage? Donnell, will you give yourself to Selitute to be her husband? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and protect her? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Selitute, will you give yourself to Donnell to be his wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and protect him? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Kakol are now prepared to say their, their vows, and I ask you all to please stand in respect. <coughs> Thank you, Donnell, Kukimaka, Itaposhi, Manuavia. 
To be my master. To be my master. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. I will love you. I will love you. And share my life with you. And share my life with you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In poverty. In poverty. And in prosperity. And in prosperity. In conflict. In conflict. And in harmony. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Let us pray. God of steadfast love, by your blessing, let these rings be to Selecute and Jamel. Be a symbol of the vows which they have made this day. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So now I give you this ring. So now I give you this ring. It's a sign of our marriage. It's a sign of our marriage. And of the vows. And of the vows. Which we have made today. Which we have made today. Before God and in the presence of our soul. Donnell and Salitute have made their solemn vows. <coughs> they have confirmed their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and the receiving of rings. The name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I therefore proclaim them now as husband and wife. Get collected. Let us pray. 
We're going to ask our Tongan family now to lead us in a hymn, please. Please, everyone, step.
The world is changing.